this is Keith Berkelhammer and this is Reef Bum TV. A number of folks who own Pax Bellum arid algae reactors have been asking for a how-to video on how to install the calcium reactor injection assembly, which sends excess CO2 from a calcium reactor to the arid, which further benefits the growth of macroalgae. Here is Tristan Wilson, owner of Pax Bellum, to go over the install. Inside the kit you have your drip counter, calcium injection assembly body, and two adapters. For installation on the N18, you'll use both adapters. We recommend applying some silicone to the threads. Also apply silicone to those threads. For the N18, the calcium injection assembly is used in line. You'd have a short length of tubing running to your arid reactor and to the calcium injection assembly. And then from this fitting to your supply pump. This uh, quarter inch push fitting applies some silicone to these threads. Snug the fitting down. The calcium injection assembly will come with a restriction disc already in. We recommend starting off with this restriction disc. It also comes with three other disc sizes. By using a smaller hole size in the restriction disc, you'll create more pressure to send water to your calcium reactor. So if the supply pump is feeding into this port, your high pressure line will be on uh, this side of the, the union. That'll send water to your calcium reactor. Your effluent from your calcium reactor will go through your drip counter. And the drip counter would be connected to the, the low pressure side. So water will flow into your calcium ejection assembly. Some of it will be pushed to your calcium reactor. Your effluent will come through this line and uh, come back combining with the bulk of your water entering the base of the reactor. In the kit you'll have the calcium injection assembly body. You'll have a hose barb adapter and a threaded coupling as well as another hose barb adapter. Quarter inch push fitting with a plug it pre-installed. And you'll also have the drip counter. So for the N24 installation, uh, you will not need these two components. And this should be left off until your calcium ejection assembly body is installed. So start by removing your quick disconnect. Put that to the side. 
apply your Teflon tape, two wraps. Now your calcium injection assembly will already come with some Teflon tape on it. It's also a good idea to apply some silicone to the leading edge, leading threads. Separate the body at the union. And thread the lower portion of the assembly on. Now you can tighten it all the way down. And you should pick which side you want your low pressure port to be. So you can unscrew this plug and put the quarter inch push fitting on that side if you like. So this, uh, this fitting should have some silicone on the threads when you're tightening it down. Tighten it down so that one of the hex flats yeah, I mean, is uh, we were, we saw perpendicular to the body. Once that's installed, put two wraps of Teflon on your quick disconnect. Put, again, put some silicone on the leading threads. Install it on the top portion of your calcium injection assembly. Now your calcium injection assembly comes with one restriction disc already installed. And that's our recommended disc to start with. Three other sizes are included. One is, uh, two are smaller than the pre-installed one, and one is larger. Now by going down to a smaller size, you'll create more pressure going to your calcium reactor. You don't need, you, you don't need So once the uh, assembly is all put together, hook it back up to your supply pump. This port will be your high pressure port. That'll send water to your calcium reactor. Your effluent line from your calcium reactor should be plumbed in to the drip counter. And then the drip counter is connected to the low pressure port on your calcium injection assembly. Now with the needle on your uh, needle valve on your calcium reactor all the way open, you should have a steady stream of effluent flowing through here. It shouldn't be rushing through where it would fill up the drip counter, but just a steady stream. If you're not getting any uh, effluent coming through, shut down your pump. Drain your reactor, open up the calcium injection assembly, take out the initial restriction disc that was included, and go to the smaller one. What these discs are doing is they're acting as a preset valve. Imagine this as a ball valve that you're just slowly closing off, creating more pressure on this, this port sending it to your calcium reactor and then this becomes a lower pressure port and effluent goes in that side. So once you have a, a good amount of effluent flowing through you can uh, valve down your calcium reactor until you have a, a drip rate you'd like. And you can always put these extra discs on the tubing so you don't lose them. To purchase an arid algae reactor calcium injection assembly, please click on the link in the upper right hand corner of this video. 
or you can visit the equipment section of reefbum.com. I will also put the link in the description section of this video. Many thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be alerted to all of my latest videos.